Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mega Max. Fantastic. Just to let you all know, a uh, quick random thing that I just need to quickly say before I forget. You can download Mega Max Mark 1 or V1 the, uh, from Steam. It is in the description below the link. I think you can also find it on the workshop. If you just put in Mega Max, then it should come up. Just letting you know, because someone commented asking whether or not uh, I should put that up so that people can play it. You, you can go ahead and do that. The link should still work. Let me know if it doesn't. You should be able to click subscribe on the Steam page and then find it on the sort of prison sharing option right here. There are a lot of other options just in case that isn't it. It might be pre-made prison. I don't really know, but I recall it being prison sharing. So just letting you all know there. Anyway, get that off my shoulders. As you can see, I've completed our sort of barrier right here or our little fortifications for the exterior of our prison. I think it looks quite nice. I ended up making a fence around the guard towers or possible guard towers right here. And I've also covered the guard towers with a perimeter wall. My main thought when I came up with the first design was that first what we had is the inner wall right here connected up to these guard posts was it was just going to be a, a perimeter wall and then a fence. And that didn't make, really make much sense because the people could just make, or the prisoners, things, that's called the things, could just make tunnels underneath our fences and our stone walls right here, or stone towers. And that didn't really make much sense. Now, the, the other reason why I made a stone fence, uh, made a fence right here was because it looked good. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. Like, there's always going to be some aesthetical reason for why, why things happen. That's the whole point of the channel. What I still need to do, however, is get the flooring done for these little walkways right here. Probably going to end up using some gravel or something like that, but I'll get that done later on. The main reason why I didn't do anything with it was because you already get a pre-made wall with the, the perimeter wall, and I do believe it gets rid of already created flooring, I believe, anyway. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't always work. It just sort of... They, they built it here, but it just it's a little bit of a different shade. And, well, mostly it's shadeless, really. And also that line between the dirt and the fence right there. Not really too keen on that, but I do like how it works here. It seems to be okay. But anyway, today, power. That's what we're going to be focusing on. So we've got a road right here with our two watchtowers. It's going to go into a little power station. It's, the, the road's not going to be as well done. We'll probably have a little parking area. But mostly... We're going to have a building which will have a water area and that pretty much will just go through this middle section and connect up against the road and then that will be it'll probably come up through the middle and it should be easy enough to connect everything to it. We do have to remember that connecting everything, we, we can't do any utility stuff underneath perimeter walls. So we are going to have to have some sort of system set up so that we could probably get power cables through this back section right here. Now I don't really mind doing it on this back section. Because if they do try and run, if they do end up making a tunnel underneath through the weaker sections of the perimeter wall, they do have to run across all of this. Which is going to take them a long time, and I imagine if I just sort of maybe have a couple guards around it, or maybe the sniper towers set up, apparently they're pretty good at taking people out, although I'd rather not have people killed. But I suppose it will then, you know, keep the prisoners in check, I suppose. There's a school desk right here. Cool. I think I remember this being a thing anyway. I know we could make classrooms... But the school desk seems... No, you, you could definitely do this, right? <laughs> anyway, I got really excited over nothing. And by that, I mean it was something. But, it, you know, I've seen it before. <laughs> so, so there we are. So how far out should this power station be? Not too far out. About, about here. That's pretty far out. But <laughs> That's far out, man. Right. And then what we should also do is... I should just plan this, really. Yeah, let's get some planning done. We'll get them to construct that road first, because I was quite happy with what the road was coming together as. So if we get the concrete road, or concrete tiles, what we should do is have it come up to about six blocks, and then come around like this. And then we should... these middle sections, this used a different... I think it was the concrete floor they end up using here. Can't really tell, although that's inside, so maybe it's a paving stone. Something like that, and then these are going to be... oh, game saving right there, that is not what I wanted to do. So these, these are going to be our parking spots. There's still a good number of them. There we are. So it should go up to around about there. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I hate it now where it gets rid of the entire construction line. If you don't like something that's out of place. It's very frustrating. And then what we'll do is we'll have this come out to around about here. Um, are we going to have parking spaces along here? It's a possibility. 
So this is why planning is a good idea. So if we go across by about eight, it means that we're going to have one middle doorway. I'd rather go across so I can have a double door right there. That makes a little bit more sense to me. And then I guess we'll just go all the way down and connect up like this. Bloody hell, once again. Like that, there we go. So this is sort of our little parking spot. This ended up being quite large, really. But it's going to be a rather large power station. It's just meant to be hooked up in the middle of nowhere. And we can use all this extra space around here to help expand the power station as well. So if we go over with our roads. Just place them down as such. Do that along here. Now going along like that was pointless because I had to do this anyway. And then we'll go all the way along like this. We're going to leave this bit empty because it's meant to be some sort of storage area. It's a shame I can't really make it into a cool delivery zone. Maybe we get random power supply stuff coming in. That's where we're going to send all the all the contractors that work on the power station. So we'll wait for them to finish off the road. It's meant to be just a random accessory. It's not meant to be anything too spectacular. We're going to do the same thing with the entrance. A nice little, little stone. Uh, what is this? 4x3. Okay, let's do a 4x3 stone entrance again. Hmm. Yeah, 4 by 3 There we go. And then just surround that with the concrete tiles. Up to around about here. Did we use it at the very end? We did. Okay, that's good. So that's what we'll end up doing. Uh, we'll probably open up the concrete tiles a little bit on this side as well. Because I think that'll look, that'll look kind of neat. Do the same thing right here. We'll see what that... In fact, we'll stop that bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop this bit. Just sort of fill that in. I mean, having it poking out like that is probably a little bit odd. Oh, I do like how the wood sort of falls apart like that. That seems new to me. There's a lot of nothing there, isn't there? I probably could add some sort of parking area. Get rid of the tree stumps would be a good idea, yeah. I can't. Okay, I guess they're something that I will inevitably be able to take care of. I think the main issue here is it's very wide here. Well, yeah, that's, that's something I've already noted down. It gives us plenty of space to work around, really. In fact, what we could do is we could even have it poke out a little bit here and add some parking spots, and that could be where the water filtration area goes. In fact, that's a really good idea, just to sort of help break up the parking lot a little bit, make it look a lot nicer. So if we go up to this road right here, that's... This should appear in planning, yeah, because we've constructed it. So let's see, five blocks, five blocks. If we go out by about here... And it means we can have a parking spot here, a parking spot right there. I could do with one more, so it might be a bit odd. It might be a bit odd, but that that will do. I quite like the look of that. Of course, I've got walls set up right here, but that's not what I'm going to be using. So concrete tiles. So from here, we'll go around like this. There we are. Then have all this be a road. There we are. All across like that. And then these mill sections can be the no, the the paving stone. Excuse me, and that's another parking area. And then what we can do from there is we can go back to our concrete tiles. Have that open up by about six. That's a double entrance as well, which is fantastic. In fact, we'll probably open up by a little bit more. And then we'll go for our standard, what was it again? Four by three. There we go, four by three. Uh, that looks right to me. Four by three, that looks right to me. And that could be our water treatment area. We'll call it water treatment. It's, you know, it could be what it is. It's different though. We'll get rid of planning because it's just going to come up as walls. It doesn't get rid of it unless you actually put down what you plan to put in there. Uh, have I missed these two? Nope. Someone, Mr. Brown right here just taking his damn time. Or whatever his name is. That, that, that helps a lot, I feel. It does break up the building a little bit more or breaks up the car park a little bit more. Um, as for this, this is just meant to be a big storage or way to, to store more stuff. Right, so let's go to a wall right here. We don't need an insane amount of space. Obviously, I'm going to add some decoration because that looked kind of cool. We'll probably have several of these water treatment areas. Oh, that's probably a bad idea because I imagine they cost money to maintain. Where am I going? Maybe utilities? That might be a good idea. Oh, no, they don't cost anything to maintain. Okay, I don't care then. <laughs> I don't really care then. So we'll probably get a few of them. The 5k, we could probably get four. Might look quite nice. So if we get the main entrance right here, have that possibly open up completely. Um, we'll have it open up by six. By another six. Nine. 
How's that? And then what we could do is if we go over to our objects, free by free. So water treatment right here, free by free. Another one right here. This is why we need to open it up. And another one there, free by free. Another one right here, free by free. We could probably add some boilers in the back just to make it look really cool. <laughs> but it's going to look really sick. I mean, come on. Look, things are meant to look really good. That's what they're there for. To look cool. Entrance right here. We could separate them. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Having them be sort of separate rooms. If we open this up by one more. This can be a room for them. This can be another room. It can be split up by a single doorway right here. Just make it a staff doorway. Oh, then we'll go back to planning. Objects, three by three by three. Specifying once again for those people. Uh, you know, this series isn't about being optimal. <laughs> I don't care about that. So, that. Well, I care about it to a degree. You know, my aesthetical needs override it, essentially. Needs. I need this. <laughs> and then the boiler area can be around about here. I could even separate this by a doorway. Do I need a cleaning cupboard? Yeah, I need a cleaning cupboard. Hell's wrong with you? Of course I need a cleaning cupboard. We could extend this by one. Or I could just put the cleaning cupboard right here. And like I said, just block this off. Don't like how that blocks off. Well, there's a cleaning cupboard. Some sort of utility room. I like that. We can have this be just filled up with files. And that could just sort of be manuals for how to use up the water treatment areas. Cleaning cupboard. Just for the sake of having a cleaning cupboard in this particular zone. I like it. And then just maybe boilers on all sides. Okay, so we'll get this done first. So we'll go over to... We're going to make it into a brick building. Because I think it would look a lot cooler. Being a brick building. Because being cool... Is what we're all about in this series. It should really be the Fancy Max. <laughs> but it's the Fancy Max. Because the Fancy Max can. As for the entrance. We're going to make it into a double staff doorway. So it should work like this. Okay, it's not perfect. But it will do. Actually, you know what? It won't do. Oh, bollocks. I didn't want to get rid of the building. I wasn't even in that menu. So it shouldn't have done that. Alright, anyway. What I want to do is dismantle that. Okay. <laughs> that that section is complete, apparently. And everyone is now stuck. Good. I'm very happy to see this. What I wanted was a door. There we go. So I can do that. And then we'll just have a staff door here and here, just in case. Same thing right here and here. Just waiting for this top section to be completed. There we go. The main power plant's going to be the biggest area. But don't worry, I'm going to make it sort of an okay average size just to cater to what we currently have. Because I imagine it's going to be quite expensive to fully fulfill. We get a utilities. This could should cost 20 grand to get all the water pumps in here. Once again, probably don't need all the... Well, I don't really know if they've changed water at all. It feels like they should have, really. But there we go. So many pumps, it shouldn't really make much of a difference if it's all like this. We would probably just need one of them. Just watch out. <laughs> the pressure is something else. Could pretty much be like that weird sort of undersea... What's it called again? Delta V or something like that? With pipelines and suction. And pressure and all that fun stuff. Pressure and all that fun stuff. Look at Harold right here, constructing an entire water pump by himself. I imagine these consume a lot of power as well. Look at those little eyes. Yeah, they probably do consume a decent amount of power. Who cares? We have loads of money at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, we do. Right, so let's make a cleaning cupboard in here. There we go. And then this is just going to be a filing area. So if we go to this. Like I said, this is where all the manuals go. The hell's that? Let's have a bin out front as well. There we are. Nice. <laughs> nice. There's a bin. I feel happy about that. Anything else that we can have out front just to, for the sake of decoration? I don't think so. We did say we're going to put boilers around here. 
The flooring should really remain the same. This is a sort of very clean industrial kind of floor to use. I don't need it to be anything else other than the cleaning cupboard should be white tiles. This, this is fine. I'm completely happy with what we have right here. Just very bland. We could have walkway, sort of metal walkway. I don't know. I feel like that just wouldn't fit in this area. We'll try something else later on. Now, boilers is something that we're going to need in here. Not need, but just it would be cool to have some boilers. I think completely filling it up is not a great idea. I think just having three either side will do the trick. We will connect them all up. Of course, we still need power for this area. For some reason, utility is just an issue for me. I just have so many problems with dealing uh, with utility. Yeah. <laughs> sure. How much do these cost? 500. Not that bad. Don't have to connect that one for the same way, do I? <laughs> That's fine. So these should all connect up. And then the hot water piping should... Well, we're not really going to connect them up. I'm just hoping it doesn't flash the whole red thing, because it probably will. But our power is, at the moment, a main concern, so we'll get that sorted out. So that's our water treatment plant. Nothing too crazy. Now let's do a bit of planning for our power plant. It's going to be a little bit more interesting. So the main entrance right here. I think we are going to have an administration area. Because we want to sign people in and out that are coming into the power station. And I feel like we're going to have contractors coming in and out dealing with things with this power station. Because maybe it could be something else. Maybe the power station can be, I don't know, maybe an ERF or something. You know, it gets waste, you know. Maybe waste's going to come in. We're going to make power from that. Probably not the case. No, not the case at all at all, in fact. But what we will actually do is we're going to have rooms like this. And each room is probably going to have, should we have two of them in each room? I like the idea of that. So we'll probably have one long hallway, and then each we're going to have some sections connected to that hallway that are going to contain two power areas. They are going to be, it's going to be a bit wider though. It's going to probably be 12 by, no, probably 13 by 7. I prefer that. So let's have this entrance right here. Uh, like I said, this is sort of going to be admin. So if we have two of these once again, and then this can sort of be the admin desk. I like the idea of that. Maybe some filing cabinets either side. And then this opens up and goes, is that a bit too much? Is that overkill? Does that look weird? I don't think so. And then as I said before, so what we want it to be is 7 by 13, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Although I guess it's going to be a bit different here. So 7, 13. That's going to be a doorway. Well, that's going to be an entrance into one of the power rooms. We can get the... Although, it should be more than seven. Because we. W I don't want the power capacitors to be knocking against the walls. I want it to be fully open. So what we want to do is really open this up by one more on either side. Which does mean we're going to have to open this up by two more. And just move this entire thing up. And at the same thing, move this up. Is it by one more? I don't know. So I want it to be centered as well. So it's going to be by two more, yeah. And then this should be... Well, it depends really. Because if we have the object on this side, do the same thing. Uh, we'll have it here instead. And then have that there instead. They're not too far away from each other. That's the middle. That's the wall right there. And then around that, we'll just do pathways for now. So we can really know where the capacitors can go. Capacitors can go in like that. There we are. And that's how this is going to work. I think that looks pretty good. I tell you what, though, my main problem with my current design is mostly that I would rather have all of the power cables cooking up across here so that we can have the power easily be distributed via the cables along these routes right here, all the way at the bottom. So, it, pretty much what I want is the power cable right here to power this side of the site, this one, this side of the site, and then so on and so forth, and then add on. If we need to. But we kind of have two power. I, d I don't believe any. You know, since I last played. You can't have two power stations connect to one another. Because that causes them to. F to, uh, to switch. Which we don't want at all. And then we also want to have some power switches. Connected up to some of these areas. I think disconnecting power. Might help. In some cases. I'm not just sure if riots. If 
the room's not lit, then it causes actual issues with people seeing each other and slows them down or something like that. Which is why I feel like having switches is a good idea and having all that sorted out. So having them in particular zones would really help us out. So maybe that's what I'll end up doing. Maybe it's just all going to be on this one row. And that's how the power is going to work out. It just won't look as nice, which would be... It's not really a big issue, is it? <laughs> so, not the worst thing in the world, no. But we can just have it come around here. And the same thing there, come around there. And then the same on the other side, come around here, come around there. It really depends what we need at the time. It, it really does. We'll have this in planning, but for now, I'll just build on this side. So if we go over to the walls, this is a 9 by 15. No way, that's a 9 by 15. This is a 9 by 15, okay. Just doesn't feel right to me, but okay. Yep, 9 by 15. Same thing right here, another 9 by 15. And then we'll just sort of go along like this. And then we'll have a 9, nine by 15 just for the sake of it. But for now, we'll just focus on this side. And then once again, we'll have our power stations here and uh, here. And another one there and another one there. And then pathways to be the converters. For now, I'll just use one of these rooms, but it's okay. Now, these rooms are very important, and we are going to have a guard chilling out in here, just for the sake of a guard chilling out in here, because I think it'll be really cool. Which is why we're going to go for the uh, Krabby. The, the Krabby, I like to call it. There we go, the crab entrance. It's got claws. It's also infectious. Because it looks so good, right? Yeah, guys? No? Anyway. Fantastic. And then, probably have, like, filing cabinets and... Lots of other random bits and pieces here and there to make it look a little bit more like a storage zone where we can have supplies for all these other power stations. So that's quite cool. I don't mind that. That also looks really cool from here as well. So let's go ahead and get that constructed. Do we want a cleaning cupboard around here? Of course we want a cleaning cupboard around here. Who doesn't have a cleaning cupboard around here? <laughs> no, we don't want a cleaning cupboard around here because this one basically caters to both buildings. In fact, we could even have a little shed right here or something that can have the cleaning cupboard since this area we're not really doing anything with. I may end up, now that I think about it, just having a, another little administration zone that would just look kind of cool. We will see. But anyway, for now, it could be like for staff or something. Yeah, for now, stop getting distracted and let's get this sorted out. Um, no, once again, we want to go for brick because brick does look a lot nicer. So brick and I did say I don't want to get both sides done. It looks so good with both sides, though. I I I find a way to sort it out. Okay, hold on a second. I tell you what, I really am just surprised I haven't run out of money yet. <laughs> I've just been going hard on all the very expensive parts of the prison. Of course, we still need to finish off with expansion right here and also deal with the, the walkways along it. It's not that great. And at the same time, get some sort of design ready for our main prison sort of cell blocks. I need to get a design for our cell blocks done. And also do some more planning for our walkways since I don't necessarily know where we're going to go with it just yet. Now, something else I've done is I've got the deployment thing, uh, deployment area... For the guards and also who can go in what area. Insecure. I like how it says that. It's okay, man. It's okay. Calm down. You don't need to be insecure anymore. I'm here for you, buddy. Just chill out. Put your feet up. You're not insecure. You're beautiful. <laughs> there we are. Good. I'm glad. I'm just trying to pep talk the entrance to our prison right here. Because apparently it's very emotional. We'll leave that for the time being. Now, I do love... Oh, yeah. I got him through the, the chief right here. I've got a chief and an accountant. We are making more money. And I can eventually get my... Not an accountant. That's an accountant. That is a psychiatrist. I still don't know if I should have the psychiatrist in here or in these office sections. Because it does, I think, benefit you having more than one psychiatrist. Psychologist. Not psychiatrist. I thought it sounded weird. Psychologist. <laughs> Very silly. And then at the same time, maybe some lawyers on the other side. I, I believe you only need one lawyer. Five grand up front. Is that the same for everyone? Wow, no, the lawyer is absurdly expensive. Costs more than the warden. Screw the lawyer. Snakes, I tell you. 
Now we want another double entrance here. 